federal government owes tens of millions of dollars to local governments and nonprofits. Congress approved the money to be reimbursed to those who have provided care for migrants taken into custody at the border. KETK's Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke has our report. Texas Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar says communities on the southern border are still waiting for the tens of millions of dollars they were promised. I know a lot of churches are going down and asking for a second donation. Congress set aside $30 million in June to pay back the border cities and nonprofits who have been helping migrants. It's going to help really, you know, whether you're the Catholic charities uh, or you're a nonprofit or a local city that's helping with food. But so far, the feds have not paid up. FEMA was supposed to start accepting reimbursement applications on July 31st, but Quayer says FEMA has put the payments on hold while it revamps its payment and application process. Texas Republican Congressman Will Hurd says Congress needs to put pressure on FEMA. It's now time for the oversight role to make sure that those resources to reimburse these communities that are taking on the burden from the federal government that they're getting reimbursed and made whole. Quayer says FEMA needs to get moving. The federal fiscal year ends September 30th. And then after that, of course, we start the new appropriation process. FEMA finally seems ready to open the checkbook. It has warned local communities to start preparing applications saying in a notice, time is of the essence. Be prepared for an accelerated application process. In Washington, Anna Warnicke, KETK News.